Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play EU4S Riga. And we are about to attack the Teutonic Order. Well, not about to, but we'll do it next year. Which is quite soon. In May. Austria was at war with Venice. And Venice is suddenly much smaller. Hmm. Well, I have fulfilled my mission with England, so I don't need to improve relations with them anymore. I doubt they would want an alliance, and I don't really want an alliance with them either. I mean, I could do that, but um, they wouldn't join my wars. Well, apart from a war with Denmark, maybe. And I am not there yet. Okay, I could take the next idea. <clears throat> that would be me a lot. Cheaper stability and... Oh, co-creation cost. Yeah, that is useful. Oh, Lubeck is now a free city. They are my allies. This will make them slightly stronger, so I suppose it's good for us. Right. Mm, we should start improving, increasing our army maintenance soon. Let's do it right away. Oh, that might be too soon. Jubilee in Danzig. What do we want? National unrest reduction for 10 years. And more missionary strength. What is Jubilee? I don't even know. Or gain devotion. I don't... I don't really give a crap about devotion. Uh, tradition of Jubilee was started when Pope Boniface VIII convoked a whole year in Rome. Pope Marcellus sent a messenger to us when the news about the Jubilee in Danzig reached him, and we fear his reaction, but we needn't worry, he approves. I don't really know what the Jubilee is, I will have to read up on that. Probably the first event message said it. Hmm. I suppose it did. I will need a general here. Mm. All right, we don't have a general. Let's buy one. Oh, he's pretty good. And I could even get the next military tech level soon. We don't really need to, though. <clears throat> but I can do it before going to war, so I probably should. We will suffer less losses that way. I am, I am not taking the next admin tech level because, um, because, let's wait one, one more um, month. I'm not taking the admin tech because I need the points to core the lands we're about to steal from the Teutonic Order in May. When we reach May, I will go down to speed 2, just to make sure that we are the first to declare war on them. Us and not Poland. Poland might be getting ready to do that as well. Oh, this is a bit too soon. Worship of the Virgin Mary. We get Papal Influence, or... Yeah, sure, I'll get Papal Influence. We're approaching 100, and 100 means free stability, if we need it. Okay, it's May now. The truce is still in place. I will go down to speed 2 to make sure that we act immediately. Make sure that we are ready. Do we have claims? We have claims. Come on. Still nothing. Might be with the end of the month, I don't know. Okay. Pankrat something something has arrived. Our truces are over. And we lost an, um, a divide. Oh, why can't I? What? What's wrong with my game? I can't select a military advisor. Okay, I. That's similar to the thing I also saw earlier with the. What? Where was that? I should definitely restart. With the deci What's wrong with my game? I don't need to restart the game, but hope it doesn't corrupt my save. I will not do it right now because it's the beginning of the episode, but after the episode I certainly will. I suppose we can live without an advisor for a while, but what is that? Why did that happen? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Let's hope that yeah, diplomacy didn't disappear. They have no allies. I don't want to call anyone in. Poland will join, but we don't want them to. Let's go. 
You go here, you go here, you go here. We should win this easily. We will see how it goes soon. They have... Oh, can they get there before we can? No, we'll be first, so there will be a battle here. Which we should win without any issues whatsoever. I will reinforce the battle slightly. Okay. I chose um, to send 2,000 troops to each of those provinces, just in case that they were able to get there before us, so that the army would survive long enough for reinforcements to get there, possibly. Did I wipe their army? Seems like it. Okay, the Teutonic Order will be ours. I will start improving relations with Poland. I could call them to arms, but... Will that cost me favors or not? I'm not sure. Now, I will make sure that they like me. Oh, another black spot for some reason. Something's wrong with my game, yeah. I hope it doesn't crash in the middle of the episode. Anything else? Not really, I can go up to speed 3 because we will have to wait for this siege to be over, anyway. And they don't have a full garrison, which is nice. It helps out a little bit. And cannons help. Right, um, who else could get angry at us for annexing the Teutonic Order? You know what, I will check. They will not accept yet, obviously, but... Let's see, Saxony and Mecklenburg could join coalitions. All the others hate us anyway, but if I improve relations with Saxony sufficiently, they might not join the coalition. And then I'll send some people to Mecklenburg as well, even though they, they will hate us anyway. Still, Saxony is stronger than Mecklenburg, so it's, uh, it's more important that they don't join the coalition. Right, annexing Pomerania would be quite nice, however... Um, I am not sure I will be able to afford it in terms of aggressive expansion. Maybe I will. Our truce lasts until August 98. Well, maybe my expansion will dissipate enough by then to warrant such an action. Okay, anything else? Army reformer has died. Yeah, nothing here. Maybe if I go to the menu for a second and then return? No, it didn't change. Oh well, let's just... Just bear with me until the end of the episode and then I will restart the game for the next one. Um, we have improved relations with Poland as much as we could and now it's time to sign a peace treaty. Should I wait or should I just annex right away? I could wait. I could wait and improve relations with people that would join coalitions. Let's do that. Let's improve relations. Make sure it works. Alright. <clears throat> Just a few months. Oh, maybe it's a bad idea. Mecklenburg will help hate me anyway. And I can continue improving relations with Saxony after the peace deal is done. So, okay, Saxony can no longer be in the coalition against us. So give me all your money and give me all your provinces. Let's do that. Okay, we have annexed the Teutonic Order and Poland now. Oh, another. Another bug. It's the same one, actually. Mm, it's getting dangerously... Oh, bloody hell, what is this? Really? That too? At least the buttons work. Okay. Do I need autonomy increasing? Uh, do I have an unrest guy? I do have an unrest guy. Will this screen work? This screen will work. Good. Hmm. I suppose I could get away with not increasing autonomy. Maybe. Let's try. Let's try. Maybe it'll work. So let's send all those guys there, core everything, and hope for the best. Maybe that will be sufficient for us to not get rebellions. I'm moving those guys out because I do want to decrease army maintenance. If I left them in, they would be... What? A disaster? What sort of disaster? 
Aristocratic coup. Nobility has a great influence. Alright, nobility has too much influence. Because someone gave them the estates. Why does the game automatically give away estates? Okay, I need to um, curb the influence of the nobility. How do I do that? Can I steal land from you? Raise levies. Something that decreases their influence. Lose loyalty. No. Gain influence, no. Gain influence, no. Control provinces, advancement of nobility lasts until 99. That is not going to work. I need to take a province from them. Which one is better? This is 13 development, this is 8. Give me that one. And now they are disloyal. I don't give a crap. You bloody bastards. At least you don't stand a chance of getting in power. No, oh, this disappeared as well. My game is disappearing. See? I don't know what's going on. Still, the core functionality is here. I mean, I have played this game for 1,000 1, and a few hundred hours. And this is the first time I have encountered this bug. Which is, well, it's weirding me out a little bit. Okay, trade income is wonderful. Poland's relationship with us is wonderful as well. Same dynasty is, uh, is good, same dynasty is good. We are Poland's only ally, which is nice as well. If we were to attack... Mm, would anyone be willing to... No, nobody would be willing to help. What if I attack Muscovy? And I can't see the acceptance now because of the disappearing things. Oh, I almost clicked it here. At least I know they wouldn't accept the call from there not being an ability to click that. I think we still have a truce, don't we? No, we don't. Hmm, do I not have enough favors with Poland? Favors 9. Well, that's close. Also, this is disappearing as well. Crimea favors 6. Wait a minute, Crimea is at war. What? Oh no, those are provinces of interest. Yeah, right. That's quite excessive, isn't it? Every two years, so that's mm, four favors, that's eight years. Oh, I can certainly wait eight years before I attack Muscovy. I will have to be ready for that. Oh, also, I would gladly get some trade buildings. In here. And here as well, as soon as the cores are done. Okay, not much to do. Also, I'm... Oh, Protestant Reformation. Really? Interesting. Should I become Reform or Protestant? Should I become Protestant? Maybe I should. We would get the center of Reformation. Hmm. Unfortunately, that would damage our relations with Poland. And I don't want to damage my relations with Poland. So maybe I should just stay as is. What's that? That's disloyal. Yeah. I know they're disloyal. Mm. Will the loyalty... I can't give them anything because their power is too high. Priests are preaching heresy. Lose diplo power, gain loyalty. Of clergy, or... Yeah, sure, I can lose diplo power to gain loyalty. I wish I could gain noble loyalty or decrease their influence by an event or whatever. Now, I would like... I would like to have something to conquer, but I am still worried. How long is our truce? Uh, 98. Yeah, sure. Mm, yes, I will gladly take admin tag. I will certainly have the ability to amass enough points to get the, mm, to core the things that I'm about to conquer in my next war. Which is going to be either Pomerania, if we don't have anything else to conquer, or Muscovy, just to take what we need. And if Poland loses their union over Lithuania, which is unlikely but possible, 
And then we would... Oh, Income Bonanza. That's great. Then we could just, um, you know, attack Lithuania. Right. I'm improving relations with the Mecklenburg just to make sure they don't join the coalition. Because if it's two, the coalition is small, then we are safe. I should probably get a military idea because we do have an excess of military points. Yeah, let's do that. Should I go quantity or quality? Um, offensive and defensive are good as well, but I do prefer quantity or quality. What's the what's the policy together with um, the ideas that with the trade ideas? Oh, it doesn't show here, does it? Mm, let's see. Oh, it shows it the name. Maybe we'll see it here. Yes. So. Let's say we take quantity, goods produced modify plus 20%, quite a lot of money. And if we prefer quality, what's quality? Plus 20% trade efficiency, that's pretty good. Offensive plus 10% trade efficiency, good as well. Yeah, quality is quite nice. Hmm. If we needed money, that would certainly work. How big is my force limit? No, I can't check it now. Oh, it's 19. That's nice. I suppose quality is the better choice. Still, mm, because we're not we're not waging wars on all fronts. Again, that would be what compatibility, tradition, compatibility, attrition, compatibility, and discipline. Well, compatibility is quite good. But I'm not sure it's good enough. If we chose mm, quantity instead. That would increase our manpower by half and make our guys cheaper. Available mercenaries plus 25%. Attrition minus 10%, that could be useful in Russia. Still, I think quality is superior. Slightly, but still. Hmm, let's say we could have 20,000 of super good quality troops or 30,000 of slightly worse troops. Which should I choose? <sighs> well, I think quality is the better choice. Let's go quality. Because hordes of men are not the way to beat Muscovy. They have their own hordes of men. And, and if we fight fire with fire, it's not always good. It could be. Can I still get um, the Center of Reformation? Get money, Center of Reformation will appear, we'll get religious zeal. I'm only worried about the relations with Poland. After we fight our next war with Muscovy, I would be glad to convert to whichever religion I could choose, but for now... Let's see the religious map mode. Hmm. I suppose getting... Protestant religion would not be so bad. It would not be so bad whatsoever. Oh, I have a fort here that I don't need. I think I should destroy it, but I can't see it, so it doesn't matter. I will use this screen to multiple all my forts, so we save money. We're very, very rich. I don't really like our current religion. I wonder what the events will be for Protestant theocracy. Oh, you know what? Just out of curiosity. I think I'll do it. I just hope it doesn't break my alliances. Will that break my alliances? Mm, becomes a new straight religion, yada yada, get money. You know what? Let's try it. What the hell? You only live once. So, did we lose our alliance? No. No. But we lost our relationship. So that could be a problem. We will see relatively soon how it works out. Bohemia, heretic religion. Oh crap, that reduced everything by a lot. I will send a guy to improve relations immediately. Also, we are now a Protestant theocracy. And I can actually send people to convert my places, so... Let's send the missionaries right away. Because we have to use everything at our disposal. Hmm. 
we get some church power every month and we do have an impending disaster of religious turmoil. Okay. I hope we can... I hope we can convert our people before this becomes a serious problem. I could become Defender of the Faith to just get a bonus missionary. Would that be useful? I'm not certain. Well, we are super rich, but there are better ways to spend the money than get bonus missionaries. We don't have a lot of um, provinces, so it should not be a problem to convert everything. What else do we get from Defender of the Faith? Morale of armies. That could be useful. The War Exhaustion is only useful when we are fighting, and Prestige could help, but it's not necessary. Early Devotion could help, but is not necessary. Uh, we have... oh, okay. Our province converted to Protestant. Where is our Center of Reformation, anyway? Where did... It? oh, it appeared up here. That's fine. I haven't played the Protestant state in a while, that's why I decided to do that also. I don't know how a Protestant theocracy will work. Alright, it is time to end the episode, so no more weird buttons and things, I hope. And I will see you next time. We have conquered what we wanted to. Next step will either be a war with Muscovy, if we can do that, if we can maintain our relations with Poland um, for long enough to actually con well, convince them to attack. Or if we can't find anything like that, then we'll just fight Pomerania. Thank you for watching. Remember to click the like button, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.